The first thing we're going to do in this demo is take a look at the Chrome extension that I wrote called Fabric Explorer. It's a free extension. You can get it by going to s43.io slash Fabric Explorer. That will take you to the Chrome Web Store where you can go ahead and install this. Now I've uninstalled it from my test environment here. So I can go ahead and add it. It says, do you want to add this? It can do all these things. Dave's a pretty nice guy. He's not going to do bad things. So the Fabric Explorer has now been added. If I come back over here, I have a little test page that I set up. To get to Fabric Explorer, I'm going to hit F12 to bring up the developer tools in Chrome. As long as I'm in the Elements tab over here on the left, I have a new pane on the right-hand side called Fabric Explorer. I click on that and I can see the user interface of the Fabric Explorer. The way this works, you go and select an element inside the UI. I'll start with my little div up top here. And then you have different sections of Chrome, or I'm sorry, different sections of Fabric that you can look to apply classes from. So I want to change the font size of this. I want to make it MS Font SU. That makes it pretty big. Well, you know, that's a little too big. Let's go down to XL. Well, that looks pretty good. And go through and say, I want to change the color of the font. Let's make it the alert color. No, I don't really like that. Let's go to just a simple blue. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to change the weight, make it semi-bold, background color. Let's see if we can make this pretty hideous. We can try green dark and we decide eh, that's a little bit too easy to read. Let's just make it green. There we go. That's nice and hard to read. Pretty hideous looking UI. Then we want to go and change the border color. We have all these different border colors to pick from. Let's pick magenta. Now we're looking at a pretty hideous user interface. So the idea behind Fabric is it gives you the ability to look at all of these different areas of Fabric and see what the effect of applying them to an element inside your UI is. Now, if you decide that, yeah, you know what, that really is a pretty hideous UI. I would never put that in front of a user. I want to start over. You can just go ahead and click the reset button, and that's just going to wipe out any of the classes that you've applied via the Fabric Explorer and reestablish the existing classes. So that's a quick look at the Fabric Explorer. Like I said, it's free. Um, you can use it to play around with Fabric and get comfortable with some of the classes. I've used it to go and design some interfaces. So I'll just put up my basic developer interface, uh, you know, with just, just the text on the page and controls and things like that. And then I'll open up the Fabric Explorer and start looking for, okay, what, what colors look good? How do I want to have this space? What size do I need these fonts? And I can see that live. And then when I'm done, I can just copy the classes out of the Elements tab in Chrome and paste it right into Visual Studio, and I'm good to get going. So that's the Fabric Explorer. Like I said, free, an ability to start to play around with some of the Fabric classes and get comfortable with what's available to you.